Welcome to Untethered Homestead. This is Ray and I'd like to share a fireplace that we built on a homestead in East Alabama. I'd also like to invite you to look on my YouTube channel, Untethered Homestead, for some other videos on this house that I did in East Alabama. This will wind up the ones that I have. Uh, we're going to start off with this fireplace. The fireplace is a dual fireplace, one on the patio downstairs where the walkout basement is. This one has the iron kettle racks in it. And uh, so they can cook out here and do things on the patio. Uh, everywhere you see the cement, it will have veneer stack stone uh, gray color on it. Also, this will have the, the deck above, which will keep you somewhat dry and keep the sun off you out in the back of the uh, in the back of the house. In the living room is a Rumford fireplace on the first floor. This will have a raised hearth that will go all the way over in front of the wood box that is to my right. And we'll be able to access from the outside loading uh, loading in the wood. Once we have the wires and the cable and the insulation done, well, we are going to be uh, covering the wall with three quarter inch uh, OSB. All the uh, brickwork that is on this floor stands proud by about three, roughly three quarters of an inch. We're going to use the three quarter inch OSB to bring it all up flush. Once the OSB is on, uh, all the way up through to the uh, to the roof line. The work works on the blocks are all, like I say, standing proud. So now it's all a flush surface and we're going to add our felt paper and then our mesh. Well, we catch up on the inside with the framing, the wire, the masonry work that needs to be done on the inside. The masons have moved outside. They're bringing up the stack stone and up onto the roof. We got the roof laid out with inch and a half rigid insulation to protect the roof from anything that may fall and hit this metal uh, roofing, the hunter green metal roofing. So we want to be really, really protected of the roofing while we work and walk around up there. So it is all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you can see that the insulation's on, the plywood is covering it. And then we have this ladder made that's holding up with, there is some screws through the roofing, but we're careful not to oblong the holes or make it so it leaks on there. All the block work was painted with a bonding agent uh, that we used. And then we used a thin set mortar, which is a white for the stone and uh, the cap was made also uh, out of this thin set mortar and it was sealed on top. Here you can see the stack stone uh, finished uh, as they went up. It really looks pretty nice. Turned out real well. They'll take strip the staging down and clean the roof and uh, get ready to move inside. Back inside we started the wire mesh with a 30 pound felt behind it. And we skim coat the wall with a mortar, thin set mortar. Uh, that will be, that will also be the base for the stack stone and veneer to stick to. And they'll go ahead and use the, again, they'll use the thin set mortar. It will be a gray color uh, on the inside that they're going to use. That way you can't see through the dry stack. These are called the mantle lookouts. They were 16 inches long and 10 inches across and they're cedars bolted to a half inch fitch plate. Then we bolted the plates to the wall. Uh, the ones over the wood box are 10 inches lower than the fireplace. Also has cedar mantles that are quarter sawn. This, they'll be flat on the back where they touch the stone and they'll be flat on the top where you'll lay uh, any items that you may have on top. So it's quarter sawn. They stoned around all the lookouts and uh, made ready. Now they're all the way up to the top with it finished pretty much on the inside of the building now. The bricks that were used in the wood box and the fireplace boxes were from the homeowner's old homestead uh, when he was a boy. So they went down, they salvaged them and used them here. We also left the stone off the floor, seven eighths of an inch so we could get the flooring underneath it when it was time for the flooring to go in. We started on these mantles and uh, they're going to be all notched in, coped in. We use a laser level to come across the top of them. It's time to set the mantles in. I set my laser up for the top of the mantles, coped them in a little at a time, and moved them down to the designated area that we wanted, which is just below the electrical boxes on both walls. The wood box is going to have a TV over top of it, so it has electrical and cable both uh, in it. So the one mantle's in, and now we're going to work on the wood box mantle. Mantle's all done and cut into length, lagged through from the top and plugged. 
Yeah, now we'll go on to cleaning everything up and uh, making the house ready to, to receive the trim around the windows and uh, around this fireplace area. The capstone was the last thing to go on for the hearth. The fireplace hearths are finished as well as the flooring around them. The mantles are trimmed off for length evenly with the, the stonework and the receptacles and the cable boxes are all done, wired in, ready to go. All the fireplaces are completed. They're outside and upstairs inside and out. Also, on either side of the fireplace, the wood 1x6 tongue and groove was set in behind a stone and the stone was run over top of it. So that would be no trim up along the fireplace on either side. Uh, yet all the stone work's done, completed. The lights are on, electricity's on in the whole house and uh, they're ready to move in. Thank you for watching. I hope you take time to see other videos on the cabin style house in Alabama on my YouTube video channel. So until we meet again.